Hey everyone! Today we're going to take a look at using containers in Visual Studio Code via the Remote Containers extension. Containers are a super useful tool that we can use in education. Usually at the beginning of the semester, I need to go figure out which versions of languages and tools and runtimes I need for all of my classes and go set them up on my computer. But with containers, I can just go grab a pre-configured environment and keep my computer free and clear of any extra downloads or dependencies. Now, Container is a piece of software that packages all of your code and any dependencies your code needs to run. So for instance, a Python container would include my Python app, along with all the necessary Python runtimes and libraries already set up for me. The VS Code Remote Containers extension allows us to create and use containers in the awesome environment of VS Code. So let's go check out how it works. Now let's say one of my classes for this semester is going to use Python for its programming assignments. Here in VS Code, I can open up a new terminal and type in python dash dash version to see what version of Python I have installed on my local computer. I can actually see I don't have Python installed at all. But since I want to use development containers in VS Code, I actually don't have to worry about installing Python at all to go ahead and get started programming. Okay, so here I am in VS Code and I'm just going to go ahead and clear out this terminal and close it. And first I want to make sure that I have the remote containers extension installed. So I'll click over here and I'm going to type in remote and perfect. I can see I have it already installed here. And whenever we have one of the remote extensions installed, so any of these three, we'll have this green remote indicator added to the bottom left, which allows us to open up a remote window. And when we click on it, we can see some of the remote commands populated in the command palette. So here I'm going to select Remote Containers Open Repository in Container. Now I'm going to choose this one because it allows us to select a GitHub repository and open it up within VS Code. Now I know our professor for this class has already uploaded a dev container to GitHub and I'm going to enter the URL to that GitHub repository in this command palette prompt. So I'm going to paste that in and hit enter. And then here I'm prompted to either create a unique volume or a new volume. Now volume is essentially a storage mechanism for our container and all of its files and either option is totally fine. So I'm just going to select create a unique volume. And here we can see that VS Code reloads and it's going to go ahead and start our dev container. You can see that in the notification here on the bottom right. So it's going to go ahead and pull those files from GitHub and once it starts pulling them, we can see them getting populated in the file explorer on the left here over time. And perfect, there we go. We can see that they are getting pulled. Now that our container is up and running, let's take a look at what's inside and how VS Code looks. We can see in the bottom left, our remote indicator shows that we are attached to our dev container and it's specifically a Python 3 container. And here in our files, we can see a .dev container folder. And within it, we have a Docker file and a devcontainer.json, which helps set up our container. The Docker file defines what should be inside the container, whereas the devcontainer.json describes how VS Code should start the container and what to do after it connects. Now within here, we can see we have a couple of Python assignments actually that our, Py that our professor set up for us. So we have sort.py and we have reverse.py. And if we actually want to go ahead and run this code, all we have to do is we can actually click this green run button up in the corner and we can see, wow, look, there we have some awesome Python output and we don't even have Python installed on our local computer. And we can also get the full functionality of VS Code while in our remote dev container. So for instance, we could set a breakpoint. So I'll click over here and breakpoints are great for helping us debug our code. And from here, all I'm going to do is hit function F5 to do debugging. And here we can see we're directed to the debug console. And now we're going to start debugging our program. So first our program is sorted and then I can do a step over and then it'll go ahead and print if I do another step over. And then we can see our printed or our sorted list there printed out in the debug console. Awesome. And we can actually see that the Python extension was installed for us by the dev container. So if we go over the extensions view, we can see we have the Python extension installed and that was done by our dev container.json. 
So if we go over here and scroll down, we can see that it set up some settings for us, like some pathing information, and then also it set up whatever extensions we automatically wanted installed, including the Python extension. Thanks for joining us today to take a look at the Remote Containers extension in Visual Studio Code. We saw how it's a great tool to help automatically set up different tools or languages on your computer. If your instructor uploads an assignment with a devcontainer.json, you're good to go. No downloads necessary. Feel free to check out the extension and let us know what you think. Happy coding!